Tony! Hey, hey. <laughs> Welcome back to Talking with Tony in the Alpha. Peter Fewing. we're in your neighborhood now, Seattle yeah. University neighborhood. Right Thanks for being on. But you're always good on these experiments. We did the podcast. Yes, yeah. I, I am good in these experiments. And yeah. I always wanted a car like this. Do you know that uh, I had a car just like this, purchased, ready to go. Really? And then Patty, yeah. my lovely wife, yeah. became pregnant. Okay. And, and okay. so I literally went back in and I, well, first they denied the loan. And I said, look, I said, I'm marrying this beautiful woman. She's yeah. got blonde hair. Yeah. We want one summer of driving an Alpha with her hair flowing in the back. That should have got you the loan right there. Yeah, Mrs. Vert, uh, James Vert, who played for his grandmother. So I got denied the loan. I gave the Patty story with the blonde hair flowing. Nice. And then I got the loan. <laughs> and then we got pregnant. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, and, and then. There you go. This, and this is the first time in 29 years I've been back in an Alpha. Holy moly. And I bought this from a Capitol Hill dealer. Okay. This wasn't the same car by any chance, was it, that you got turned out? No, mine was blue. Okay. All right. Thank goodness. Mine was Tino Perino from, from the Ferrari dealership. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. I had just met uh, my, my wife, Mika. Yeah. In fact, we, you know, we were just married, and a month later, I bought this. And, and uh-huh. yeah. And, and so uh, you clearly you weren't pregnant like we were. We were married. No. We were six weeks married <laughs> when we were pregnant. Six there weeks. Oh, good. Yeah, so we, no, just good. to clarify, December 10th <laughs> was when we were married, and then October 18th is when he's, you do the math at home. No, it's good. You, it's for the, I think for the church, that's good information. Father so. Wallace, just so you know, <laughs> Father Wallace told me once that the first child doesn't always take nine months. That's a good point. Very good point. That's, he's right. Do we have a script for it this? Could, no, there's no script. Uh, okay, uh, in that case, a couple quick questions, Peter. Yeah. Pete yeah. Fueling here. First car. What was your first car? Remember? Oh, thank you for asking. Pinto station wagon. I bought it from my dad for nine hundred bucks. I put nice deal. Yeah, I put three hundred down, fifty bucks a month. Never missed Good. a payment. See, that's that's how you learned about the value of a dollar. Yeah, Pinto right. station wagon was an awesome high school car. Yep. Put number there was the number four on the side, and I did get unfortunately pulled over as a misunderstanding with the police officer and I. And he it always asked, is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me why I had the number four in my car. Yeah. And I said, well, I race it. So okay. I went to court because I, I like the legal system and I had to explain to a judge and it was with a black electrical tape. And I said, well, I take it out to SIR. <laughs> and then I realized, stop talking. Yeah, it's, good, it's good to stop teasing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't always get the joke. Yeah, no. Um, so your season this year, yeah. SU season, tell me about it. I've been, I've been on the east side out of contact with, okay. with everything. Okay. Well, I didn't go to all the games because yeah, I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was at all the games. Uh, we did quite well. We uh, we we won the WAC conference right. tournament. That puts you into the NCAA tournament. I think our record was not that crazy. Uh, I can't remember that. Fifteen, three and. Four. Two, something All right, like no, that. good, good, yeah, good. Uh, look that up on yeah, we're, we're Google checking. that. I don't know, but uh, the but the, the church line. doesn't have a record of that, by the way. <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't. Uh, but we had a we had a good year. I uh, you know, we we ended up going to the NCAA tournament. We played a little school down the street called the University of Washington. Yes, uh, the Huskies, and it was great. Anytime we play the Huskies, it's so fun. Oh yeah. So I played there, and so a yes. lot of people say terrible things to me who are my good friends. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not right. If I was to send those comments via text on to our local law enforcement, yeah, there'd be more security at our gates. So, uh, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's always in jest. So so uh, I'm pretty sure it's always in jest. So we we went down one nothing to Washington, and then we tied it up just before the half. Uh, we came out, Good. scored. Sergio Rivas scored a goal. Habib uh, Barry scored the first goal. Sergio Rivas scores the second goal, up two to one. And Tony, I'm on the sidelines, and I'm looking. Uh, I look at the scoreboard, and I said out loud to myself, "This is an end of two to one." And just then, Elijah Rice comes in. Boom, two two. Uh, we go to overtime. Uh, yeah. We got a young freshman who gets the ball at the edge of the box. He's on the left side, cuts across the right, hits the bender. Sudden death overtime. We had a great view. It bent in. Uh, we know a lot of their kids. Yeah. Seth is in goal. He's a great kid. Sure. He's had a yeah. back issue. He, so 
couldn't quite get to it. Yeah. Game over, and then the, everybody ran on the field. Yeah. So it was beautiful. Yeah. The fun thing about the NCAA tournament, or not fun thing, it's all in your perspective, is that night then we are up till 1 in the morning getting flights. That's a Thursday night game. We fly Friday uh, on four flights, four oh different flights, gosh. to Akron. Yeah. And everybody has a stop, and then we get a two-hour bus ride to Akron, and then we played at Akron on Sunday, and they thumped us. Yeah. We were down yeah. one nothing at halftime. Very talented team. They got uh, second goal. They scored 13 minutes in. Good goal. They earned it. Second goal, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes into the second half, and then we got, gave up a late one. So a good year. We've gone to the NCAA tournament three out of the last nice. five years. One quick stat for us. Last five years, there's only five teams in the country that have won 11 games. It's ourselves, Notre Dame, Clemson, Denver, and Akron. Wow, good company there. Good, good company. company, yeah. And um, then, yeah. couple last uh, rapid-fire questions. We did the first car. I'm going to go first oh. First job. Okay, Angelo's Restaurant, 601 153rd Street, 2443555. Great Italian place. They raised me. They, they talk. They're close talkers, the Italians. <laughs> and I'm English. I mean, I was uncomfortable being in this car, but... 10 years at Angelo's. That's a great place. All right. Now, it wasn't the kind of place where the guy went, tw, tw. can I help you with something? <laughs> That's the old joke. But uh, uh, let me see here. here. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Uh, okay. Most most memorable moment, and we can keep these, we'll keep these a little short here, but still, most memorable moment. Yeah. As a coach, or is that's a hard one, isn't it? That's a well, one. we've won three national championships. Yeah. Yep. So the first one, you know, you win that, that's. Boy, one, it's a big relief. It's yeah. something you work for. It took us 10 years. So I'd say those. And then the relationships with the players. Sure. And that goes, you're a cystic fibrosis yes. guy, right? Yeah. You've been incredibly supportive with your sister having that. So I've, I've sat in hospital rooms through yeah. a couple of transplants. Uh, but the relationships with the kids, going to weddings, yeah. their yeah. daughters, their their wives become my daughters. That's their true. children become our grandkids. That's so it. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I, but winning, you know, beating... UCLA here yeah, uh, yeah. in the NCAA tournament, beating the Huskies at the UW in the NCAA tournament, beating Creighton in the snow, and then beating SBU, Cliff McCrath. Yes. Right? Yes, the first yes. time you beat SBU, it's yeah. massive. So. By the way, i got to get Cliff. You suppose Cliff uh, will, will uh, come out of his shy state uh, enough to do this segment with me? No, he's very uncomfortable. He's speaking in public. <laughs> he's a wow. shy boy. Whoa. Yeah, no, I think Coach McCrath would be willing to do it. Oh, my God. I don't think you even have to show up. <laughs> no, you, that's a good point. He might do it on his own. You put him on a street corner, he'll speak longer than Fidel Castro and Bill Clinton put together. That's unbelievable. Peter, it's a joy always to see you. Thanks for being on uh, this uh, crazy program. It's called Talking with Tony. That's me, of course. In the Alpha, which, of course, is the car. Peter Fewing, thank you, sir. Good to see you. God bless you. You are.